Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 gear up video. In today's video, we are replicating the QBZ 97A. This is a nice rifle, and honestly, it looks stock. I'm sure you guys can already tell. You're probably thinking, wait, did you even add any attachments on it? And I did, um, but I added some very subtle attachments because um, I want to, again, these videos are meant to replicate what people use, what military forces use around the world or whichever like I'm trying to replicate the rifles as closely as possible there will be videos where I make more tactical versions of it designed by me or like how I would use them stuff like that but for now I'm just trying to replicate them as much as possible now this firearm is a mix of different things here because this is a QBZ 97A that's what this is based off of because it's a three round burst and it has semi however this is also based off the Canadian civilian version or variant of the rifle called the Type 97. Um, so it's a mix of both. There is a website called T97.com where, or sorry, .ca where they actually make ergonomic lower receivers and flat top rails for the Type 97. And this is exactly what we are seeing in this game right now. Basically, this gun is made up of three different. Um, three different locations or three different ways uh, it's kind of hard to word it really but um, yeah so here it is a Q QBZ 97A now this is very similar to the QBZ 95-1 except this one shoots a 5.56 rather than uh, I believe that one shoots a 5.8 by 40 40 millimeter 42 millimeter this is different from that just like that gun these guns will no longer be used in the future I think they're trying to replace all of their uh, QBZ like 97s, 95s with the QBZ 191 which is way more practical and it's kind of uh, I guess designed like an AK so it's more easier to use. Let's get into it. I'm not going to get too much into the history here. Let's take a look around it before we talk about it or before I show you the attachments. So EDI on this on the mag there, the little sticker. I just put that on for fun. Ignore it. But again you guys see that lower receiver. You see the cutout right uh, above the pistol grip there. So again, that is from T97.ca. They basically created that, uh, I believe, to make it more ergonomic, make it more lightweight, stuff like that, and uh, kind of make it similar to an AR-15. Now, the weird thing is, the selector switch is actually supposed to be closer to the, uh, the trigger group there, or the pistol grip itself as well, but it's further back. So I guess, again, it's redesigned. Not only that, but that flat top rail, is supposed to be a little bit shorter um, height wise like it's supposed to be almost touching that charging handle uh, but I guess again they extended it in Call of Duty so they don't fully replicate it and have to deal with copyright but yeah here we are so let's go ahead and hop into the attachments here this firearm as of right now as, as of the time I'm making this video which is maybe like, well, it's literally the month of release, so we're in November 27th right now. This is a pretty overpowered rifle. Um, I believe one or one and a half bursts, and you can take down an enemy easily. So it doesn't really need much attachments, honestly. The ones I chose are mainly just for looks, but there are some useful ones on here, of course. So starting from the muzzle, going clockwise as usual, we're going to start with the L4R flash hider. It's very basic. Again, this gun doesn't need much. This does help with recoil and gun kick, but it's not like it really needs it. However, it's there, so definitely use that for now. As for the barrel, we're looking at the uh, CDG T25 light barrel. Now, the reason why I use this one is because of that polymer handguard. Again, I'm trying to replicate it to real life, and in real life, you don't see them use any like any of these uh, super tactical like railed accessories and stuff like that railed um, handguards so I went with the polymer one here which looks very clean very subtle I like it for the laser sight we're using the FSS OLE V laser so this improves aiming stability ADS and sprint to fire speed so this is very helpful um, it doesn't really do anything crazy the laser will be visible but no one will have a chance against you because this thing is just overpowered 
So uh, yeah, don't worry about the uh, visible laser. Moving on to the rear grip here, we're using the Varanus Steady Grip. I think that's how you pronounce it, or Varanus? Varanus? I think that's the first time I've ever seen that in the game, but anyways. We're using this only to cover up the, uh, the textures on the grip here because it doesn't really look like real life. Uh, so I want to cover that up with something nice and stippled, I guess. And that one suits it very well. Moving to the ammunition here, 5.56 NATO uh, high grain rounds. That is what we're using today. There's the build. Hopefully you guys like it. Now for the camo, you guys will need a solid color paint job on it. And that's going to be charcoal. If you don't put a paint job on it, it's not a whole, it's not a big deal. Like that, this is what it's going to look like, right? I mean, it looks normal. There's nothing about it, but I just like to make it a little bit cleaner in this case, just to make it stand out and make it look a little bit different. And again, I put that sticker on. If you guys want to put stickers on, go for it. Uh, it doesn't really break immersion because like, why not? Like, I don't see the point of not putting a sticker on it. Let's go ahead and hop into firing range and I'll show you guys what it looks like and how it sounds like. So let's go ahead and do our usual shooting range test here, which is headshots um, as we're mounted here. So we're going to go with 10 meters first, two shots to the head at 25, two shots to the head, and finally at 50. Three shots to the head. So let's do 50 one more time just because I, it seemed like my sights were just a, a tad bit off, maybe more towards the neck area. So let's go ahead and just put that right there. Yeah, three shots to the head at 50 as well. So I don't really have to say much about this gun. Honestly, it's <laughs> like it's overpowered. You guys can tell already. There's like hardly any recoil. Look at that. 50 meters and one burst. That is insane. Now, in multiplayer, it might be a little bit different, but from my understanding, it's still pretty overpowered and uh, it's, a, it's, it's a shredder. <laughs> um, let's try it with the tack stand, or what I like to actually call it, the canted, um, canted aiming. Okay, so that one took a little bit more, obviously because the uh, of the spray there, but there we go. So that's basically it for today's video. Very simple firearm. Um, it's a lot of fun though, but again, it's very simple. There's nothing really to it. There's not much attachments on here to really talk about. So yeah, that's basically it. Check out the description below if you guys are interested in buying Modern Warfare 3 for any of the consoles, such as Xbox or PS5. Um, also, I have some stuff down there for VR Quest 3, so like accessories, straps, stuff like that if you guys are interested, definitely check out the links below. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys back in the next gear video and my other videos as well. Peace out ladies and gents, and I hope you enjoyed.